Hello, hello, and welcome to the Rock Metal Podcast. I am your host, John Harris, Eternal Deliria, who I've got on the show with me right now. They've got a new album called Paradox of the Mechanical Angel, which was released in April. Right now I'm being joined by Tim to share some stories about the music and share more info about what Eternal Deliria has got going on. So, Tim, welcome back. Or, Tim, welcome to the show. Thanks a lot. Hello, everyone. You are quite welcome. Awakening, which is quite a track title, Tim. Something that strikes me about The Awakening is a storyline or some kind of a story to do with the track or the album. So what is The Awakening? What is happening? Oh, well, The Awakening is, um, first of all, the lyrics are written by Lutz, our singer, uh, as uh, the vast majority of our material. And the, the, the Awakening is the first track that we wrote uh, for the album. And so it's pretty old. And uh, The Awakening is uh, like just a call to try and uh, awake ourselves from the limbo where we live every day in modern times. Like, you know, you end up being like trapped in a job that maybe it's not the job that you really like or you end up doing routines that it's that are not that uh, interesting anymore that doesn't give you any any good inputs in your life uh, and it's just a, just a, uh you know just the idea of having uh, the the courage to try and change something in your life to awake yourself basically wow okay now i'm curious is that something that you guys went through yourselves oh well partially i mean we think we're not professional musicians. We don't make any money basically with our music, but we see music as, you know, just a, a way to to spice up our lives basically to 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 do something more, you know, to do something more than just working every day eight hours and then rest on your on your couch watching. Netflix, basically. <laughs> we wanted just to have something more, basically. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm curious, with regard to the album, does this track, or at least the <coughs> the subject matter, is that what is the paradox of the mechanical angel, to have the courage to try something new, to awake yourself? Oh, not exactly, because the title of the album, it's much more recent. We, um, we actually... Cr- just created the title after we got the the um, artwork uh, because uh, it's like uh, we tried to do something like that we when we wrote the album we had in mind this idea of having the concept of imprisonment as being the main theme of the album uh, imprisonment in various ways like not just physical imprisonment for example the awakening is talking about your the social life the routines that we have or we have you know maybe ideological imprisonment when you have like a very strong ideal that maybe sometimes it's it's uh, it's it became something like a prison because you can't see clearly other other things or other, other points of view uh, so the par- this paradox is uh, something that we came up because we wanted to to give to the album um, something more than just this uh, concept and uh, so we created a story to 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 just go along with the album. Uh, <clears throat> and this story, we Im- we imagined a post-apocalyptic world where humanity, after developing developing the technology uh, so much, uh, technology like rebelled and uh, uh, enslaved humanity, and. Um, in the end, uh, this is just a uh, short story. <laughs> I don't want to steal too much time with this. Um, the paradox is like man creating things to gain more freedom and then in the end uh, ending up by being slaves of these uh, technologies or these things that we create in order to be more free. For example, cell phone. Uh, with cell phone, and internet now you can really be free you can do whatever you want whenever you want wherever you are for example if you want to read something you want an information wherever you are you can just go on google and google it but in the end this uh, gained freedom that we have ended up being like a prison because a lot of people live their lives on the net and they don't 
really care too much about their actual lives. So this is the paradox that we wanted to to create. So this per- the this is the paradox, and the mechanical angel it's just a representation of something pure, so like an angel, but it's like. Um, bastardized is it, does does this exist in english as a word bastardized mm-hmm. oh yeah yep yes okay uh because it's like half pure and half machine this is the idea behind the the whole title i hope it's clear <laughs> yeah. the way i explained it yeah yeah and something else you mentioned tim was that the awakening is one of the the first songs if not the first track that you guys had written for the album so i'm curious then yes. did it did it set the tone for what became the album? Well, uh, not too much. And um, I think it's the most diverse song of the whole album because it's actually, it was written when we were ending the recordings of the, of the first album we made, the, called Letting Go of Humanity. But we, we were like, not sure if we could make it, you know, just, it, just be just to prepare it in for the album. So we put it on hold and we decided to include it in, in this album, in the Paradox of the Mechanical Angel. And I think that composition-wise, you can see that it's a little bit different than the other songs. So I would rather say the opposite. It's, it's maybe something that bound us to the past, but it's definitely not a very representative song of the album, I think. Okay, very cool stuff. Now, if you dug the track The Awakening and you'd like to check out the music (laughs) video where we see what appears to be a wealthy man chasing the band around the house with a really, really, really big knife. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) (laughs) You can go and check that out by going to today's show notes at www.therockmanopodcast.ca. Now, speaking of more imprisonment in various forms, as Tim had mentioned as a theme for the album, Tim, when you say freely enchained, what I guess is this track talking about? Well, it's talking about the fact of like we imagined a prisoner, and we try to see the point of view of the um, slave owner basically, and uh, we imagined the the way um, an imp- uh, a slave could l- could live like knowing that he is. Um, the fact of being imprisoned, his sufferings are like never ending until someone else decides to end it. So uh, we imagine that these people uh, could just find their own uh, freedom in their, you know, using their minds basically. So they need to internalize their their freedom to, you know, in order to be free, even when they're not free. So they are in chain, but they're free in some ways. Uh, This is the main idea. Wow. Okay, totally not at all what I was thinking, but I definitely get it, and that is super, super cool. Uh, Now, I'm curious, Tim, you mentioned uh, The Awakening was the first track you guys had written for the album, uh, but it was more of a breadcrumb uh, from from the previous album. Uh, Yeah, right. So I'm curious, with Freely Enchained, where was this in the writing process? Oh, very hard to tell, actually. I think it's in the middle it's hard to tell because we don't compose songs uh, all together, generally. It's like, um, uh, generally it's Claude, our keyboard player, who is uh, like a, a, a tornado of ideas. He just shows up at rehearsals and he's like, okay guys, I've got a new song, it's complete. It's like, I wrote down the drums, the keyboards, the guitar parts, and then we arrange it a little bit and we change stuff that we don't like, of course, we do that. And other times it's like um, someone else in the band does it, have a riff, an idea, or melody, or just a concept to work on. So it's it's hard to um, to keep track of what is has been created uh, before or, or after. Because also because sometimes uh, something gets just you know it's just a rough idea, then it get it's put on hold, and then we just. Uh, composed more of the song later so I am pretty sure it's like in the middle also because uh, The Awakening it's the the first one that we wrote then the others were wrote in a in a shorter period it's not like because we ended up we published the old the other album uh, Letting Go of Humanity in uh, 2016 if I'm not wrong yeah and uh, it's not that the other songs were written between those times. It's like in the last year almost that we 
we composed all the other songs except for The Awakening. All right, now, if you dug the track freely in Chain, then you'll be super excited to know there's a music video that accompanies the track where you can see the boys doing some kind of a satanic seance and trying to summon things from the evil world or something. And... <laughs> <laughs> you can do so right. by you can do so by going to today's show notes at www.therockmetalpodcast.ca. And if you dug the two tracks, The Awakening and Freely Unchained, then you'll be super excited to know that in April came a full album called Paradox of the Mechanical Angel. And Tim, you'd mentioned that um, that there is a theme through the album that's kind of like imprisonment in various forms, and it also has the visage of an apo- apocalyptic world or post-apocalyptic world where technology has rebelled and enslaved humanity. But I guess my big question, Tim, is when we pick up the album, what should we expect? I mean, these two tracks that we heard here, The Awakening and Freely Enchained, does that give us an idea of what we should expect from the album? Oh Well, yes and no. We think, we hope to be a little bit of a... A little bit of an original band. We do have uh, different things that um, end up in our music because we, as band members, we do really have a vast uh, uh, spectrum of influences in the band. Uh, of course, all in the metal and rock genre. Not not just that, but mainly rock and metal. But we really have like uh, people listening who's listening to more of black metal. People listening to more melodic death metal. Claude, our, our keyboard player, is a very big fan of um, cinematic uh, music, like uh, film music scores. And uh, so what you can expect, it's like a good mixture of mel- melody, uh, brutal riffs, and uh, symphonic elements. So yeah, those two tracks can s- be pretty much good for describing the, al- for describing the album. But... Um, there are some songs that are a little bit faster, for example, than Freely in Change. In Change, it's not that fast a song. We have faster songs, and we have elements that are unique to just uh, unique songs. So it's a good way to enter the album, but I suggest you to listen to the, the whole product if you like our music. Yeah, absolutely. Now, normally there would be discussions about festivals and tours, but with that on the back burner for some time, my question, Tim, is... Is there anything else that you wanted to chat about? Any news that's important that's coming down from Eternal Deliria? Well, news, as you said, everything is a little bit on hold now. We started working on some new songs, but it's just very, 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 just few riffs and stuff. So it's not, we don't even have uh, an actual song ready. Yeah, this coronavirus uh, really uh, it did uh, some pretty huge issues with us because we, we had to cancel like the release party show for the album and we had some interesting shows to play here in Switzerland that we were really looking forward to play there and we had to stop and we are a little bit on hold we we're not rehearsing we're not uh, we're composing at home basically and not doing that much the idea was to to plan if we managed to do that a, a tour a little, a small tour, of course, because we are a very small band. Maybe just a tour as a, you know, opening act for other bands. And uh, it's something that we did not plan yet, but we were looking for to plan that. Uh, I don't know if we will manage to do that in next year or not, because we wanted to do that after you know playing the the album a little bit here just to see that if the songs were work a good live because we never played those songs live just a couple of those um like the awakening because it's the it's the oldest one and uh i'm not sure what what we'll manage to to organize but we don't have we don't have any particular plans for for the future actually right now okay perfect well tim I just wanted to thank you for coming on to the Rock Metal Podcast. Well, thank you for having me and the band. And uh, I just say cheers to everyone who's listening to the podcast.